What's up guys, more Medic One here. Hey, I've gotten a little bit of flack over my recent short video on YouTube over this PB770T with the bad crankshaft. I've gotten so many people saying, well, why didn't you just replace the crankshaft? Bottom line is time restraints. This is a factory short block from Echo. As you can tell, there it is. SB1099 is the part number for the short block for the uh, PB770T. As we can tell, this short block has been replaced recently. It's basically brand flipping new. There's the exhaust side and there's the piston. Here's the intake side. It's even still got oil on the piston. Why did I replace the short block instead of the crankshaft? But like I said, time restraints. I had this short block sitting on my shelf needing to be used up. My customer, which is basically employees of the same company that I work for, work in the grounds department. When I say customer, it's the grounds department bringing me equipment to work on as a whole the company that I work for doesn't care about how much it costs to fix it. This would have been number two short block. All they want is this machine running so that it can go out and make money and keep property uh, mowed and blowed and just keep the workers working. However, I will order a crankshaft for this short block since it's brand new and repair this short block so it will be ready to go for the next blower or the next guy that runs straight gas or runs a restricted fuel system and burns the dead gum thing up so why did this crankshaft fail everybody's saying in the comments that it's missing the key no i took the key out the key's right here it's just chewed up center fan hub is also destroyed. As you can tell, the crankshaft is on a taper. The fan is on a taper. In my honest opinion, one of two things happened. And it's hard to point fingers about what happened. Either the nut that holds it on was over torqued or under torqued. Both of those scenarios would cause this crankshaft to fail like that. If you over torque it, you're gonna crack the pot metal uh, hub that goes through. If you under torque it, it's just going to be loose on the crankshaft and it's just going to wobble back and forth and eventually chatter out the keyway. Once I get the crankshaft in, we're going to tear this engine down and replace the crankshaft. We're going to put new seals. Uh, well, if we may not even need new seals, we may be able to just put some aviation gasket maker and uh, I'll pressure test it before I uh, call it good. But these gaskets should be good, but I'll order new ones just in case. All right, guys, I hope that cleared up some confusion about the uh, why we do the things we do here at uh, at the shop. Anyway, if this content helped you out. Give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, go ahead and click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One.